Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this girls flag football video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. All of our coverage of flag football this season is sponsored by the LA Chargers. All of our coverage of Long Beach Poly is sponsored by Bryson Financial, and all of our coverage of Wilson is sponsored by Joel Batonio. Thank you to our sponsors. It is Wilson against Polly, oldest rivalry in Long Beach. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. It was also senior day for Long Beach Poly, as you see all the banners for the big senior class for these Jackrabbits. But it was a couple of juniors getting things started. All junior girls report to the football field immediately. Sydney Santos had a rushing touchdown, and then this nifty gain to get the sideline fired up as uh, we got a little bit of uh, tackle football there. You can see her teammates uh, gassed up behind her. Uh, then Aya McLinn, who missed the first meeting between these teams, takes off on the scramble and gets the score for the Jackrabbits. We know she can throw it in. We will see that later. Then, on the extra point attempt, she's going to hit Janelle Morris. Jackrabbits offense cooking here in the first half. Then on defense, Cheyenne Clark says, you can't sit with us. The interception is going to set the offense up with tremendous field position as she gets a nice little return in there as well. Good for a senior to get an INT. Then McGlynn looking for Tiare Ho Ching on the dive. Can't quite haul it in. That would have been a highlight real play. I put nothing past number 18. Then on fourth and goal, McLean surveys and finds Andre Greer for the touchdown. Jackrabbits executing in the red zone, which they didn't do in the prior meeting. Back to the poly defense, Wilson tried to get something going, but Teresa Nuun said, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. We, you know, we don't usually see like physical tackling or big hits in flag football, but these tackles are made with authority. Those flags can feel when <laughs> number nine's there pulling them. Teresa, one of many playmakers on that Jackrabbits defense today. But back to the offense, McLean with a spring fling, and it's going to be caught by Milana Green for another poly touchdown. McLean doing a nice job getting a bunch of different targets involved in this game, spreading the ball around. Then on the extra point, I'm a pusher, Zadie. I'm a pusher. Zadie Kirkendall with the catch as Polly goes up 26-0 at halftime. So an impressive showing out the gate from the green and gold. Into the second half, the Bruins driving a pass going to be intercepted. Dasani Jackson, who then has it intercepted by teammate Brianna Bailey. There's been some girl-on-girl -girl crime here. I don't know what <laughs> that was a really weird play. Uh, I'm kind of with Dylan Shock. I mean, what the heck just happened? <laughs> Either way, Polly gets the takeaway. Two interceptions? Wilson's defense did step up after half. Freshman Coco Gonzalez with the pass breakup. You go, Glenn Coco. Two pass breakups and an interception for the freshman who gets a little rub on the elbow there. Later in the drive, McLean to Tiare Ho Ching. She had to score on senior day, right? Hits the gritty. I mean, you wonder how many touchdown sellies she has. Really, the limit does not exist. But Wilson would get an answer on their offense. Jamie Zamora going to hit Lolly Avila for the first down into Poly territory. Then a great diving grab by Gonzalez as the Bruins are now deep in Poly territory. Then it's Zamora reading the field and fires a strike for Coco. Score for you, Coco. She had a great game on both sides of the ball for the Bruins as they're able to get in the end zone late. Then Wilson would use that same connection for two gift certificates to the Walker Brothers Pancake House. That would close the scoring, making it 32-8 Long Beach Poly in this rivalry showdown. And then after the game, a chance to honor the seniors for the Jackrabbits. Obviously, this is a brand new program. A first year in the Moore League as the entire Shock family <laughs> comes out for a big reunion photo there. Uh, but great to see this sport evolving and growing right before our eyes. And shout out to the Jackrabbits, still undefeated in Moore League play. You want coverage of flag football the rest of this season and all other sports in the LBC, you're definitely in the right spot, the 562.org.